Hey YouTube, it's Collect Station. Um, today I'm going to show you another deck profile video. This is going to be my Elemental Hero Fusion deck. Um, I've had a, a lot of requests. <laughs> I just um, wanted to show you guys this deck because I think I finally finished the build. Um, I've had this deck for a while, but it's never really been finished, so I just thought I'd show it to you. Um, every time I've had a Yu-Gi-Oh! channel, I've posted an Elemental Hero deck video, and it always seems to be my most popular video, so I thought... Why not continue that trend? So I'll show you mine of what I got. And it's pretty pretty good build, I think. Um, E-Hero isn't that competitive anymore. It never really was. But um, So yeah, this isn't, isn't really a world beat or anything. Um, it's just a very fun deck to play. And um, it, it, whether you're a beginner or you're an experienced duelist, I think this is a really fun deck to play. So if you want to get an idea from my deck, you can. Or you can just... Um, copy the deck completely if you want to, but anyway, before I waste any of your more time, let's get started with the fusions. Ramp up blaster, this is a really good uh, defender card, it just kind of sits in defense mode, then attacks your opponent directly for a thousand burn, not too bad at all. Uh, we've got two thunder giants, these guys are as powerful as a monarch, and they also have the effect of discarding a card to destroy a uh, monster with the original attack are lower than this card, which is 2400, which isn't that bad. We have a Plasma Vice. This card is really good for spear burn damage and all that kind of thing. And um, also you can discard a card to destroy a, a, an attack position monster your opponent controls. Flame Wingman. It's a really good card because it does the... Uh, when you destroy a monster by battle, it inflicts uh, damage equal to its attack to your opponent. Shining Flare Wingman, I can't emphasize how good this card is. It is really easy to get out. All you need is a King of the Swamp and a Spark Man, and you have a 2500 beater. Well, even more than that, because this gets powered up by 300 for every E-Hero in your graveyard, so instantly that's a 2800 attack power. Also, it does the same as Flame Wingman. You attack, destroy that monster, that monster's attack goes directly to your opponent's life points. Uh, Shining Phoenix Enforcer, it's pretty much the same as... Flare Wingman, except instead of doing the uh, Flame Wingman damage, it just can't be destroyed by battle, which isn't very good, but the power-up is very good. Steam Healer, you will probably not even use this that much, but it is a good card to have. Um, basically, if it destroys a monster, uh, your opponent that um, monster's attack points goes to your life points in healing, so you get that thing. I don't know why I just didn't say that. Um, it's pretty weak, though. 1800 attack, probably not worth getting out, but it is alright in some situations. Uh, Mudball Man, fantastic defender, has no added effect, uh, just has 3,000 defense, and it is easily destroyed, but it's good to just sit there. Uh, Wild Edge, or I like to call him Bam Bam, because he can attack every monster your opponent controls. With 2,600 attack, that is really good. And last but not least, a Mariner, just because if you have a face down spell trap, it can attack your opponent's life points directly. It's only 1,400, but it's still a good burn to your opponent. Now for the main deck, we'll start off with the monsters. We've got the, of course, the ones that you can't get rid of. Uh, the Sparkman, Clayman, Avian, and Burst Tinatrix. When I posted this deck on um, a previous Yu-Gi-Oh! channel, um, someone said that I didn't need to run Burst Tinatrix, and I could just replace her with King of the Swamp or Beast King of the Swamp. Uh, but I find that uh, running too many Beast King and King of the Swamp finds your deck kind of... Um, lack of fusion because with King of the Swamp and Beast King of the Swamp you need to have the other correct fusion material and it does kind of thin out the deck for possibilities and such so definitely have all of these in there two of each don't want to run any more than that because they aren't that fantastic and you can easily get them back with other cards I've added uh, Bubble Man his effect is really useless you'll probably never use it ever in a duel unless, unless you like dead draw him but he's just good for getting out uh, Mariner and Steam Healer and that kind of stuff uh, two Wild Heart. These guys aren't affected by traps, which is really good. Sorry, I just kicked the camera there. Um, yeah, unaffected by traps, 1500 attack, so you can pretty much drop him, drop a Torrential, and it won't die. You've got a clear field for attacking, and also get to get out, um, Wild Edge. Woodsman, just to get back, um, Polymerization and stuff like that. And it's also a good defender. You don't use him for Terra, Terra Firma? Yeah, don't use him for Terra Firma, because that's a crap card. Um, Elemental Hero Stratos, I keep knocking this tripod, sorry, I'm not used to doing it this way. Uh, E-Hero Stratos, good because, 
Uh, you drop him, and you can either destroy a spell trap for every elemental hero on your side of the field, or you can get uh, an elemental hero, or destiny hero, or uh, what else is a evil hero from your deck to your hand, so it's pretty good. Uh, Blade Edge, good spear burn. Um, you don't want to usually tribute for him too much, because you just use Polly and get him out for uh, Plasma Vice, and do I have him for anything else? Wild, Wild Edge? Yeah, Wild Edge. Prisma just really speeds up the deck a lot uh, by sending a card from your deck to the graveyard to have this guy treated as that name, so you can just be um, fusion a lot quicker. Three King the Swamp, these guys are awesome because they replace any fusion material um, as long as the other ones are correct, so you can do sp um, Spark Man and King the Swamp to get out Shining Flare Wingman in one go. Also, the difference between King of the Swamp and Beast King of the Swamp is that King of the Swamp can be discarded from your hand to get a polymerization out of your deck. So it just really speeds things along. Uh, speaking of polymerization, we have three of those, just obvious. I don't really need to explain those. Fusion Sage, um, these are good because um, polymerization is a must in this deck and it just speeds up the deck a lot. I, um, I used to run two of these, but I found it just really filled up your deck too much, so don't run any more than one. One is all that's needed. Miracle Fusion, just to fuse again, and um, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. 2E Emergency Call, just to bring out some uh, the E heroes quicker to your hand. You can even bring out Blade Edge, because there's no level restriction. Reinforcement of the Army, pretty much the same as uh, E Emergency Call there. Um, I think uh, pretty much every E hero in this deck is a warrior, so almost any card in the deck you can bring out. Two Warrior Returning Alive, these guys are really good because they just help... Uh, Fill your hand again, and you can get back something you need for Polly. Uh, Skyscraper, very useful tr um, card just to power up your um, E heroes when they're attacking. So if your attack is lower than your opponent's, they gain a thousand. So that's not at all bad. Two MST, it's good to just have back row control because if you want to make this deck a little more competitive, you do need that. Uh, Pot of Avarice, just to replenish your deck and just to you know use your fusions again. Lightning Vortex, pretty obvious, don't need to explain that. Smashing Ground, don't need to explain that either. And once you're reborn, you can even reborn your fusions as long as you've done the uh, proper cost for them. Uh, traps are fairly self-explanatory. You've got two bottomless trap holes, they're a staple. Wabaku, so your uh, monsters don't get destroyed, so you can fuse later if you need to stall. 1D Prison, I only have one because uh, that's all I have to spare in this deck. Um... I've also got a Magic Cylinder, you could replace that with D Prison if you wanted to, but I really like Magic Cylinder because um, sometimes in this deck you're not attacking and it's hard to just deal damage to your opponent's life points, so this card just really helps. Um, it's just a personal favourite of mine, so that's why it's in there, you don't have to run it if you don't want to. Solemn Judgment, that's pretty obvious. Mirror Force, obvious as well. Hero Signal, just to get cards back to your field. Uh, when your E-Hero is destroyed, oh no, when your monster is destroyed you can get an E-Hero, that's what I meant. <laughs> And Torrential Tribute, just to uh, clear the field, also very good with Wild Heart. So, that is my E-Hero deck. Hope you enjoy. If you do need help with yours, I'm more than happy to help you. Just uh, leave me a comment, or you can message me if you want. Uh, let me know what you think. You can also post your E-Hero deck if you want to. Um, once again, this is just a... I've made it as competitive as I possibly can. Um, it's also just a really fun deck to play, and I do recommend it. So yeah, that is a real element of Hero Deck, and uh, stay tuned guys because I do have a couple of openings ahead uh, in about a week, week or two, so stay tuned for those, and just have a good day. So thanks guys, see you later.